All right, what has gone on, guys? Today we are watching To Your Eternity episode three. I'm every episode. I'm just super, super looking forward to this. Um, it's obviously been amazing so far, and it's, there's only been like two episodes, so like that says a lot. It's probably one of the most popular of this season uh, right about now, um, and honestly, it absolutely deserves it because it is just it's just been fantastic so far. Um, but yeah, as always, guys, like the video if you like the video and subscribe to this channel if you are new. And let's get right into the episode right now. Took on the appearance of the boy, set off, and then died a few hundred times. Only Guma. So that's likely the like giant bear thing we've already seen, I think, maybe. And that's when she met Mr. No Named MC. There was it was here that something different happened when he had the orange one. We'll see it now probably. I didn't show it. Well, basically uh, in that scene, I believe was when his eyes kind of did like the purple flicker and then go back to normal as it did, or it might have been a scene previous to that. And um, so there was like a few theories about why that happened and uh, whether or not there were theories based on you know the actual light novel who who people who read that I don't know, but I think there was one person who said. Um, it was kind of like a stimulation from, or like kind of, I don't know how specifically it was worded, but it was like uh, when the when he, this being does something that the previous person, the previous thing it ad adapted from, wanted to do in its previous life, it kind of did a little stimulation thing, and it kind of learned that, and I think that's just kind of really nice, and um, that obviously you know the the boy who uh, he originally. Um, you know the original human. He uh, he obviously wanted to go somewhere and he wanted to eat some really sweet fruit and stuff like that. And I just think that's really cute how that's happened. Um, obviously it could be that, and it could it could just be kind of this was stimulating to him. Uh, this you know no named being. Um, and it, as it, as as it says in the the intro, it's kind of an update of information. It was sent here to gather information, and that was kind of an update in the information. So I thought that was really cool little detail. Um, but yeah, let's get right back into it. She's like, "Where's my food? There is no food here." <laughs> what? No, you need to eat with your hands. You get sick if you eat off the ground. <laughs> oh, please do give him a name. Fujimi. Fuji? Fushi! What does Fushi mean? Fu? So his name's gonna be Fu chan. Well, just Fu. We'll call him Fu. That's pretty cute. What are you doing? Oh. What's that? <gasps> smart. Very smart. Now, how are you going to get that behind you? Okay, yeah, cool. Very smart. Maybe this thing isn't the god thing that they're trying to sacrifice to then? Or, I don't know. You guys better skedaddle. Jesus Christ, this thing is big. I assume because they haven't said anything about it yet that this isn't the thing that they were supposed to sacrifice something to. Right? Oh, you're gonna die. You are going to die, my friend. Okay. Jesus Christ. Run! Run! Get away quick! Oof, that was close. I don't think a bow and arrow is going to do much unless you can actually blind it or something. That'll just make it even angrier, though. <gasps> oh, Jesus Christ. What's going to happen here, then? Did she fall in the same pond that March fell in? Oh. He's just going to follow her. Ooh, how is he going to change? Oh, there he is. Is he following her or is he just walking around randomly? What is that? 
What is it? <laughs> Looks gross. Nah, bro, you're just imagining things. You, you never saw that, don't worry. Uh, not not just a bear, a giant bear. Oh, so it might have been Oniguma. If Oniguma's just a legend, why are you sacrificing children to it? What? What is this, like, medicine that knocks you out? Oh, shit. Oh, it puts you to sleep. I thought it was something like that. Is this where she's going to be sacrificed? I thought it was on top of like a mountain or something. And these are the bones from the previous person. Jesus Christ. And they they can only just can only just get them now. God, that's fucked up, man. Ugh, what if she wakes up like during, bro? Is that the giant bear? You guys should run away. Oh shit, she's here. If we just kill this thing, which may be pretty damn hard, you'll never have to do any sacrifices again. I'm afraid that knife's not gonna cut it. Hey. Legit. Ah! Uh, oh god. Oh? Did he hit her? Oh no. What happened? Oh! Foo! A march. Is march okay? Oh, what's he going to do? Oh, please tell me March is okay. You two have met before. <sighs> Why are you just letting yourself die? Doesn't it take you a while to regenerate? <gasps> Yo. No way. Bro, part of your head's missing. What? Can he regenerate faster now that he's, like, learned from doing it so many times? And maybe because he's eating as well? <gasps> no way! <laughs> he can turn back into the wolf! Now my special move to turn into a rock! <laughs> Bro, what if he turns into this bear? <gasps> no. What was that? Oh shit, he's fast. Scratch out his eyes. Go on. Ooh. What is he doing? He's like learning every time he does it. Or something. Ooh. Oh. So bloody. He's just ripping him apart, ripping him apart, and he regenerates every time. <laughs> it, yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> what happened? Oh my god, she's alive still? Good. Well, she got stomped on. <gasps> he killed it? <laughs> Are you joking? Oh my god. Why is it like steaming? Yeah, there's no need to. Oh? To your land? All of them? Oh, is he still- is Fu still here? I don't know how you're gonna bring that bear with you. Oh. 
Ooh, look at him. You know what that is. Yeah, and he eats the same. She knows who that is. She has to know. Turn back into Fu. Come on. <laughs> he spoke. No. Oh, these episodes seem like that two minutes. That was an amazing episode. Holy crap. Um, I just want to say, like, damn. So that was To Your Eternity episode three. What a brilliant episode that was. Jesus Christ. I was not expecting Fu, which is uh, which we she March has decided his name is now. Is um, I was not expecting Fu to kind of... I mean, he was going to intervene somehow. I did not think he'd be able to take that bear down. Um, I like the way that we could see every time he was kind of... It felt like he was learning... And he was kind of, he was feeling something. I don't know. Every time there was just like a, a shockwave down his fur. That was really, really interesting to see. And now we know he's like, he, he I mean, he's learning. That's what, that's, that's the basis of all this. Um, He's obviously saved March and March and his uh, sister, quote unquote. Um, who, well, I don't know her name. Uh, now going to live in a different tribe, I suppose, but they're going to go back to their tribe and say, oh, they're dead, you know, just to say that the ritual was a su success. But obviously, they'll probably never have to do the ritual again, I had assumed, because now that Oniguma, or whatever his name was, is dead. Um, But yeah, really cool. And I loved to see that Fu can, like, is learning now that he can actually speak or he at least say arigato, uh, like March taught him. And uh, it's oh, honestly just a really, really good episode. I'm super looking forward to the next. And uh, that's all I really have to say. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day. And peace out.